Hey guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. All right guys, today is going to be another unsponsored video. This time it is a one year in review of every plate. So if you are familiar with my channel, you would know that I tested out every plate almost a year ago to the day of this video getting posted. And I did it in a whole series of testing out, I think it was five or six different meal prep delivery service companies. So if you want to go check out those videos, I'll leave the playlist down in the description box below for you guys. Since trying those out, we decided that every plate was the perfect match for us. So I have been using every plate for one whole year. I do have an like an affiliate link that anybody who uses every plate can can get so I'm not like sponsored by them but I do get some like credit towards every plate if you use the link nonetheless if you want to get $20 off of your first box you can use that link down below and then that'll help you out and it'll save you some money so this video is going to be an unsponsored one year in review what I have thought about every plate over the last year all right so if you aren't familiar with every plate it is a meal delivery company and you can pick like whether or not you want two or four servings per meal and it's like three to five meals per week and the reason we picked every plate in the first place is because one the flavor is really good the variety that they offer is decent even with someone has dietary restrictions as myself i have still made it work and then the price the price was the biggest thing for us we get a box that serves my husband and I for three meals and it comes out to, I believe it is $40 for the box. So that is a great price. Here in this box today, I have creamy peppercorn chicken, hotel butter steak, and apricot Dijon pork chops. So it comes in this box. These are like the recipe cards you get. And then it is packaged very well to keep the food fresh. So for every plate, they send you a box like this, and it has all of your ingredients that you will need. Most all of them. There's still a few things you'll need yourself. And then this came yesterday, so it is melted by now, but this is an ice block. Actually, there's still a little bit of ice. And that holds all of the meat. So we have the pork chops, chicken, and steak, and they are still super well frozen cold. Uh, there are three different packages in here and it tells you how to recycle them on here so that is awesome and i'm super excited i love getting these boxes it's fun to kind of have a little bit of variety it helps when i have like a busy work week and i just want to have something ready for me so pretty much you'll get everything most everything that you'll need and then it'll tell you on the card like for this i need salt and pepper oil butter and cooking oil sometimes you'll need like ketchup for recipes uh, or like brown sugar or sugar. Those are pretty much the most random things. But other than that, you probably have butter, salt, pepper, and oil in your pantry already. So yeah, it is my dream to get sponsored by Every Plate. So Every Plate, if you're watching this video, I super love you guys and that would be like a dream. But nonetheless, I don't know which one David is gonna want for dinner tonight, so I do need to call him and ask him. And then I'm gonna cook one of these meals up for you guys. And then fast forward a couple days, I will cook the other two meals. So you'll get to see all three of these meals and we'll kind of talk more about every plate as we go through it. Hey Siri, call the hubs. Calling now. Hello. Hey baby. Hey, what's up? Would you rather have a chicken meal, a steak meal, or a pork chop meal? Uh, chicken. Chicken? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, bye. Love you, bye. All right, so it looks like tonight we're having the creamy peppercorn chicken. So I need to get a few of the things out and we'll start prepping this dish. Yeah, light. I had to get the lighter. And not light? I can hear the pilot. Do I need to? It did. It just took it a sec. Okay, so it's all, all the hot.
David, what are we cooking for dinner? Uh, hotel butter steak. Is it gonna taste like it's from a hotel? It's gonna be fancy. It has Yukon potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and dried cranberries, which I'm interested about how they're going to utilize that. So I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse and we're gonna cook this meal together. Alright guys, so it's a little bit later at night. On the third night we are making our meal, so sorry if the lighting's a little bit dark in here. I'm working with what I got. Tonight is the last night of this week's Every Plate Meal Box. It is an apricot Dijon pork chop with mashed potatoes and roasted zucchini rounds. So really excited for this. I have all of my ingredients down in front of me and I kind of wanted to just take you through this card for a little sec because this is something that if you're interested in using every plate, you'll want to kind of know the layout of it. So the card looks like this. It has a picture of what it's supposed to look like, which sometimes I try to plate it as such. And then it says, well, obviously like what it is, but then it says what we send and then it gives an asterisk for what needs to stay refrigerated versus not. I just stick everything in the fridge anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then what you'll need. So for this recipe, I'll need salt and pepper, cooking oil, olive oil, and butter. And what I like about that is I can use my dairy-free butter and make it a dairy-free meal. And then the back of the card looks like this. So at the top, it gives you like a little tip for the meal. And then there are options on some of the meals to substitute. So you can pick like instead of pork chops, I want chicken. Or instead of broccoli, I want like zucchini or something like that. So they give you at the top, if you use their substitute, do this. And then pretty much it takes you through six steps. And then at the very bottom down here, if you aren't familiar with meat and the correct internal temperature it needs to be, it does give you a little thing at the bottom. So pork is fully cooked with an internal temperature of 145 degrees. And then also chicken is cooked with an internal temperature of 165 degrees. So that's basically what you will see on the back of the card here. And it gives you this nice little half sheet of paper you can save these and try to replicate the recipes. It would be a great idea to save these and kind of keep them as reference points if you do decide you want to cook it for yourself later in the future. Enough rambling about that, but I did want to give you guys kind of that overview since this is an unsponsored review. So let's go ahead and cook this meal. Well guys, a trip to Breaker trying to film this video because apparently I was running way too many things at once including charging some batteries and heating up my tea. I'm just gonna insert uh, my Instagram reel that I made just now for you. Enjoy. You know what's fun? Living in an RV. You know what's not fun? Tripping to Breaker because you have too many things running. In case anyone's wondering, 
I fixed it. And the pork chops are on the stove. It's like 9.30, it's fine, I'm cooking dinner. All right guys, so the final meal is cooked. It looks delicious, it smells good. Everything went according to plan, except for, you know, the fact that I blew a breaker, but that did not mess up my cooking. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this, and then I will chat with you guys in the end for a little recap. All right guys, so there are the three meals that we had for this week for every plate. Some of the concerns that I have and that I've noticed over the year of using it is that sometimes it is hard to find meals that are gluten and dairy free. I am able to modify and make substitutions, but sometimes there's just not three good options for me. Uh, the second thing I will say is the meals are pretty basic. I love it because it is great to just have meals ready for us. Don't have to think about it, don't have to shop, but sometimes you do see repetitive, meals as options for the different weeks and so that's kind of a drag like I want there to be a little bit more variety and then the third thing that I will put in the negative category is every now and then but not super often I do get vegetables that are not like the best quality it doesn't happen all the time and it didn't happen in this week's box so I'm pretty happy about that but every now and then I will get some duds and so that's kind of a bummer the positives definitely outweigh the negatives in the fact that every plate is awesome about their pricing. I think it is very well priced for what you get. It's not outrageously expensive. I am able to make, for the most part, all of the meals for David and I and getting to pick the gluten-free and dairy-free options or modifying it to make it such, and so that's good. I know that David has enjoyed it. He likes getting to have these meals. We do a box pretty much every week. Every now and then I'll skip it because I'll have those three meals and I'll extend it out like a week and a half. And so I will go ahead and skip. That's another good thing about every plate is you can skip weeks if you don't want to get a box or if you're going on vacation. So I think that's pretty awesome. And overall, the quality of food is pretty good. I did say that there were some duds every now and then, but as a whole, I really like the meals that they put together. Like I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you guys want to try every plate and you have never used it before go down into my description box and follow the link you'll get $20 off your first box it is a code that you get when you use every plate so it's more like I guess like an affiliate code or an affiliate link but it's not a sponsored link so every plate has no idea who I am which hopefully they will soon because I think it'd be super awesome to work with them but yeah, if you want $20 off, use that link down in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I post videos every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I'll check back with you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.